loved you since the very first day When I caught you looking my way I smiled and just knew it And up until you came along No one ever heard my song Now it's climbing with a bullet Hi beautiful ladies, so tonight I'm going out with a couple of my girlfriends so I decided to record my makeup as I was doing it tonight so this is really perfect, I'm going out to, it's like a bar slash club so I mean it's really perfect for anywhere, it's not anything crazy so I mean if you wanted to just maybe wear it for like a dinner date or something like that you can do that as well. Yes I dyed my hair dark again, I have a serious problem where like I'll want something and I'll do it and then it's been literally three weeks to the day. I just was over it and I miss my dark hair. It's, it's honestly so much like healthier and like softer, I feel like. But if for those of you who are wondering what I used, um, I did it myself and I used L'Oreal Preference. I mixed medium golden brown with dark ash brown. So basically they come with like two different colors and I just did half of one in one thing and half of another because I need two boxes. So that's how I got this color. So if you want to learn how I got my makeup, please keep watching and I'll show you how. First I'm taking a small eyeshadow brush and my Maybelline quad. This one is called Strutted Suede. And I'm going to be taking this light color and applying it right on my eyelid. You're also going to want to apply this color underneath your brow bone. Taking my MAC blending brush and this light beige color, I'm going to be applying this right in the crease of my eye and also blending it upwards towards my brow bone. Since this is a very light color, you don't have to worry about it getting too high because this is just going to give your eye more depth. I'm then taking this darker beige color and applying this right in the crease of my eye as well, blending it upwards to the lighter beige color but not too high with this one. You want to keep it right in your crease. Taking the darkest shade of brown in this quad, I'm then going to be applying this right on the outer V of my eye and also blending it in the crease of my eye. To line my upper lash line, I'm going to be using my Jordana Cosmetics Eyeliner. This is like a pen, so it's a lot easier to apply, and you can also get this at any Walgreens. Taking a small angled brush and this dark brown color, I'm then going to be applying this right underneath my lower lash line. For lashes, I'm going to be using Andrea's number 455, and they're self-adhesive. I'm going to cut these ones in half and just place them on the outer part of my eye, and it's going to give my eye a nice shape. You're then going to want to apply your mascara just to blend in your real lashes with the fake ones and I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic. When I bought these I didn't realize how long they actually were so I'm just going to trim them a little bit. Be careful when you're doing this of course. I mean I'm using a close up mirror so I can see where I'm cutting it. I'm just going to trim them so they're not as long. After you've applied your mascara and your lashes, you can just blend your eyeshadow out a little bit more just to make them blend better as well. For lip gloss, I'm using Lip Venom. You can get this at any Sephora and it is a lip plumper. 
So that is how I got my makeup look. I hope you ladies enjoyed, and good luck trying it out. I'll talk to you soon. But when it's said and done, girl, I hope you know that the traveling, the singing, 